Hello everyone, my name is Chris Bednarski. I'm a senior keeper here at the Houston Zoo in the Herpetology Department. Um, today we are going to bring you inside some of our amphibian exhibits, so please send in questions about all your frogs and toad questions and stuff like that. Um, but between the questions and downtime, I will try to explain and show you some of our cool amphibians. So this is our native amphibian exhibit. Um, these are species that you should be able to find here in Harris County. We've got green tree frogs, which is probably the most common species of tree frog you will see here. And then up here, we have gray tree frogs. They are found around here, but not as common. Very nice blurry picture of it. Um, there are toads in here. Try to find one. There we go. Uh, the toads are hiding in their little hiding spots, and I can't really pull them out right now, sadly. But let me show you a close up of a green tree frog. the lighting there we go okay and they've got cute little sticky pads on their feet oh that was a good jump close this up are there any questions yet about our awesome native amphibians well that's a shame okay um, let's go to our fun exotic amphibians We're going to stop at this exhibit because she's actually out and about. <clears throat> United States' largest species of salamander. This is called a hellbender. Um, they also call them snot otters, lasagna lizards, all kinds of fun names. Um, but it is a salamander. It's an aquatic species in water all the time. If she were out a little bit further, you'd see all kinds of cool little wrinkles and wiggles in her skin. Um, those folds help her absorb oxygen underwater so she could breathe underwater. They prefer cool, kind of fast-moving streams. Um, they eat crawfish and earthworms, all kinds of fun stuff. They've got the internet. Um, we're going to go to another exhibit here. This is Southeast Asian, Indonesian, and Malaysian species. We'll take a look in the exhibit. We've got a bunch of different guys in here. This is a female uh, Asian climbing toad. The males and females, you can tell them apart just by looking at them. Females get way bigger, like this one here. Males will only get about that big, and they're brown with a couple dots. Females get nice and big like this, and they'll be dark, or they'll be like a really pretty green with a bunch of yellow dots. And this is actually, they're called climbing toads and they're known for climbing. They've got the little toe pads like tree frogs do and they are arboreal. They'll be up in the canopies, up in the trees, just kicking it out there. Um, another species we have in here, which I'm having a lot of fun with is the Borneo eared frogs. This is quite a jumpy species usually. They're called eared frogs because of these little flaps of skin behind their eyeballs here. Oh, it might jump, so I'm going to put him up here. So this species kind of blends in with dead leaves and bamboo. Um, one really cool thing about this species of frog is the way they breed. They breed and they do something called foam nests. Um, if you look in the top of this exhibit here or down here, wherever floats your boat, there is a foam nest up there, and these foam nests actually contain the eggs that the females laid and the male has fertilized. The reason for these foam nests is they will lay these up in the branches or in leaves above bodies of water, and these foam nests keep the eggs nice and moist, so 
when it rains, it's supposed to drop the eggs and the tadpoles into the water so the tadpoles can grow and become frogs. But if the rains don't come quick enough, these foam nests will keep the uh, eggs moist enough so that the tadpoles don't just die. Amphibians have all kinds of fun ways of reproduction. And then, down here, we have mandarin newts or emperor newts. You see all these tiny little dots here. This is all decoration to make other animals think that they are gross and scary and they're gonna get sick if they eat them. But they actually will if you look here, just like a toad, these guys have little parotid glands or poison glands behind their ear area that secretes toxins. Um, so you can see that back there. Put that one back. And that's all the species in this exhibit. Close this up. next species I am going to show you is a Denny's gliding tree frog. This is one of the larger species of tree frogs out there. Southeast Asian species. These guys are called gliding frogs because when they jump from tree to tree, they'll spread out these big webbed feet of theirs and it kind of helps them glide. It breaks the fall, really. They don't really glide. But uh, yeah, they're called gliding frogs and these big, big, cool feet help them with that. What's up, little man? And these guys, oh. <laughs> little guy wants to see the frogs, don't blame them. Uh, these guys are dive bomb predators, basically. So when they see a bug, they just, pinpoint it and just dive on it and headbutt whatever it is and just shove it all in their face real quick. They're voracious feeders. A lot of fun to watch. We have this specific exhibit on a reverse light cycle so that when people do come to the zoo, you can actually see them active and moving around. What's up, little buddy? I think you wanted to talk to you, Chris. All right, next exhibit. Here's our South American exhibit. We have a bunch of different kinds of dart frogs in here. And we also have something called a milky frog. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? This is our milky frog. They don't call them milky frogs because of their color. They call it because of the secretions that they give when they are threatened or someone's trying to eat them. They basically start to foam up and get really sticky and gross and it's a milky white color and it keeps predators from being able to eat them. If a snake's trying to eat them or something like that, it actually gums up their mouth and they have to spit the frog back out. Try to put this one back in here. All right, guys. Well, that just about sums up what we have going on here as far as amphibians on exhibit go. Sorry about that. Please don't forget to support the Houston Zoo. We have an awesome Houston Toad Project. Support all kinds of awesome amphibian conservation projects in the wild. And yeah, thanks for watching.